people want more music like that. Okay. But like, what if I don't want to make more music like that? That's what if facts. I want to like, you know what I'm saying? That's it's facts. just like that thought of like my fans being like, oh, we want this instead of what I actually want to put out. It's just sometimes we like. Bitch keep playing, yeah she know better. See cop it, I'm a go getter. Money stack up, it can't fall, nigga. And then Danny found I'm not a ghost, nigga. What's up, guys? You're watching Blue House TV, and today we're here with the one and only Kill Bump. Yeah. How we doing today, brother? Yeah, how about you, bro? I'm doing good, doing good. So you're out in LA right now. What brought you out to LA? Videos and shit. Uh, studio sessions. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Cooking Let's up go. videos, studio sessions. I love it. That's what pretty much when you come out to LA, it's just like work, work, yeah, work, work type shit. Yeah. yeah fact. It's a business trip every time. I love it. I love it. So for the people that don't know, can you let them know where you're from and how old you are? I'm from We Cross, Georgia, and I'm 18 years old. Let's I go. I just turned 18 January 7th. Let's so, go. Yeah. Hey, just turned 18. An adult now, right? Oh God, that's crazy. So Nigga lit. let's go, let's go. So okay. Take me back to Waycross, Georgia. What was it like growing up there, and like how did that influence you? Like, what kind of kid were you like growing up? Even I was like sensitive as fuck. Um, I didn't really like school. Okay, I hated that shit. But that's kind of basic. I feel like everyone hates school. Mm -hmm. Um, there's some people that like. Nah, them. my brother, my like oldest brother, that nigga was smart. Okay. Like he flew through school And it was just cake for him yeah. Cake And he's like Oh I like school I'm like bro Nah that shit dead Yeah facts Like nah, I was like fuck that shit And so I was like Fuck that Dropped out Okay Not even I didn't actually drop out I don't even know if I should say this But honestly Anyways So like you know Homeschool Yes sir So I just went homeschool And I didn't like Really like Do this shit You so, were just kinda like So I basically dropped out At like like 14, 15, okay. like somewhere around there. Okay. And that's when I just focused like really everything on music. Okay, so right around 14, 15, so you started yeah. just like locking in. You're like, yo, this is yeah. this kind of what I want to do. You already knew at that point, like this was almost your pathway? Yeah, facts. Cause I, I was already rapping like at 13 and shit. Yeah, yeah, I heard you mention that, yeah. Yeah, so I was just, that's my favorite number because I started rapping at 13. That's fine. I was like, I evolved into like a my own human, like my own self type shit. And no, absolutely. Shit. That's, why, that's how I look at that. Let's but, go. Um, I dropped out, started going crazy on music. History. History. And so 14, 15 years old, um, you said like at that time, I remember you mentioned like labels were even flying you out at Hell 14, yeah. 15. How did that all come about? Like what, what caught their attention at that time? I had this song called Battle Scars. Okay, yes sir. It has a, like a mill. Two, it's got like 2.5 on SoundCloud. 2.5 yeah. mil on SoundCloud. My boy got this. Okay, yeah, my boy saved me. I got that shit. Yeah, that shit. Right. Got that shit. But uh, it had like, you know what I'm saying? It caught, it caught, it caught like the label's attention, and like it wasn't nothing serious. It wasn't nothing serious. Like, okay. It was like Columbia and like. They were just kind of like, sh like just kind of seeing how they would. Yeah, they was just the really. It was like an introduction. They was just like introducing themselves, and like telling me like. Just introducing who they Absolutely. what like what they do for for rappers and shit. Did that that give you did that that give you like a platform that motivates you? What did that do? It for definitely you? motivated Motivate. me because yeah. like I like a kid like a fifteen year old like I never expected to like fly out to New York at fifteen 100%. and like you know what I'm saying be able to like stay in like a ho like a nice ass hotel and do all this shit like I dreamed about doing or I see in like these movies and shit where like facts. people like where I come from like niggas don't really get to have the chance to do that shit. You That's know facts. I mean? That's facts. So I wanted to touch on like some of your your earlier music, like the song. I think the first song you have out in your SoundCloud is called Kill. Damn, that probably is. I don't know. Cause is I, that one of the first songs you ever made? Hell no. That was yeah. not. That wasn't the first song I ever made. That uh, wasn't the first song, but that was your first song you have on SoundCloud from... Yeah, from... from from. So basically, before I had another name, uh, but I'm not going to say the other name because, you know what I'm saying, branding purposes. Okay. Head okay. ass. Nah. Okay. So basically, for Kill Bunk, for my like brand Kill Bunk for mm -hmm. me... Mm -hmm. That was the first song, like okay. one of the first songs I dropped on a SoundCloud. Let's go. And I noticed there you had like a grungier, more like darker, like yeah. aggressive type sound. What were some of your inspirations at the time? It was time? like all Florida, all Florida like eggs. Okay. Correct. It was like all the, it was all like all that little scene, the okay. 2016 era. Uh huh. It was just all of that shit. 100%. Just all of that. That's just fire. Like can you name so like we got like X. I almost felt like a little bit like like a suicide boy. Oh like, suicide bro, suicide boys, oh uh, really bro, like, like every, bones, I kinda felt bro, like a little bones every, type of like, Every little yeah. like everyone that niggas was listening to in twenty sixteen, like that's like was like what made me make like that kind of music. Absolutely. 
So then I Feel Alone is where you feel like you started gaining some traction. Is that the first song that like that started getting some like numbers? That shit like got like 30K and I was like, sheesh. Fact. I was like, sheesh. You know my boy, uh, Kid Munch, shout out Kid or His name ain't Kid Munch no more, but his name is Munch, shout out Munch. Okay. Um, me and him, we did that oh, yeah. song. Uh, and that shit was history. Like, history, yeah. That fact. shit was, that shit is crazy. I like touching into like kind of the early music stages. I dive through the SoundCloud, was kind of just like listen to the stuff because I really like I like seeing the growth and everything. Yeah. Kind of like see where your headspace was at and kind of like what you were doing. And I even listened to the song uh, "Taking Take Chances Makes Mistakes." Yeah. And you were on like some like more like boom bap. Boom bap that was my origin stuff. for real. Like, was? boom okay. bap shit. Like that was so like whenever I was I was trying to learn how to rap, I just listened to like Mob Deep, like Joey Badass, like yes, all sir. like all the oldies like. Facts. All, all the niggas that had the like boom bap vibe and I just like Absolutely. took that in it like I just learned how to rap like that and I was like alright I got the basics down Let's now I can, do, I can do this, I can do I can do that I can, you know what I'm saying started Absolutely. switching genres and shit Absolutely I saw that and I was like I'm, I would be curious would you ever tap into that sound again? Uh, like the grungy sound? Oh, no the like, like the boom bappy type the boom ba- Oh hell yeah! Are you tap into that even now? Oh hell yeah I'm definitely like crazy, gonna tap bro. into the boom bap sound I, Like also on, some, on some like XXX shit you know where he does like the Jocelyn floors and kind of like the unique I could see the diversity in there when you were just like see when I heard that song I was like yo this dude can be like doing like other yeah, shit you know for sure. but I feel like battle scars is when you really started to hone in like your sound yeah, you like, have, like the today, actual right? sound like, like my one, melodic exactly that's, yeah Heck what yeah. niggas know me for for real so tell me about like how that came about like when did you start approaching like the melodic side of things like what inspired well, that honestly that shit was way before I was I really like was melodic before like I did the grunge shit okay so it was really like Juice World. okay uh like uh, future, okay. All, all kind of like every melodic nigga. Okay. But <laughs> a little Uzi. When you were on, like, but when you were in the studio, uh, like recording, you're like, yo, just le- or, or uh, tell me a little bit about your I recording record myself. Process. Do you record all yourself? Always. Okay. And then were you just like just trying, like singing, Different. and you're like, this kind of sounds fire, or were yeah. you like deliberately like, I'm gonna make a singing just, song right now? Bro, I was just having fun with it, bro. I was just, it was like fun back then. It was like, yeah. I want to make, I, I this nigga makes music, I can make music. Facts. I, I got a little I got a little microphone that my uncle gave me. Okay. I got a little laptop. Nigga, I can't n- that nigga over there fucking making music, I could do it too, so Facts. I was like, fuck it, boom, let's get it. So how long so do you still record all your own music? Yeah, I record not all of it exactly. Like e- like let's say like right now I'm in Cali, I don't bring my equipment. Facts. So I be hitting studios and shit or locking in with like producers. Facts. So I don't, I don't record all of my shit per se, mm-hmm. but like most of my discography was recorded by me. Let's go. Or like Mo- like I don't even think one studio song has actually came out for real. Like okay. I think so. Chanel bag, you recorded that yourself. I recorded. It. I recorded that on FL Studios when I was. And you mix it yourself. Like 15, 14. Mixed it myself. Hell yeah. Bro, I had a fine. little preset. Let's throw that go. bitch on. Let's go. Knobs. FL's over. FL's the new like goaded. You know, oh, like yeah. Pro Tools used to be the shit like ten years ago. Like everyone, but now FL's all the kids using FL. FL's the shit now. Yeah. No, that's a fact. Sure. So tell me a little bit about. I don't want to pronounce her name wrong, but is it G Hughes, your producer? Yeah. Is that how I pronounce it? G Hughes. G yes, Hughes. Sir. G Hughes, you did this one. No yeah, cap. That's yeah. my boy. Yes, sir. You got, I see you guys work a lot, a oh, lot together. Uh, yeah. So tell so, me how that relationship came about. Honestly, so after Battle Scars, I think, Okay. I, I guess he found me from one of those songs and he was like, yo, what's your email? I sent him my email. I was like, send beats. And I was like, yo, we should lock, or like, he, I, I can't remember who exactly like approached it, but I okay. was like, yo, let's get on Discord. And let's do sessions through the internet. Let's go. And so me and him started working through the internet, and that's what really developed like my sound to okay. the fullest, for real. Okay. Like working with him because he's a producer. Fact. Like he can help me. Like he he lays these beats down that I want. That really gives me Absolutely. like the creativity space type shit. Absolutely. So me and him, we lock like we locked in like crazy, and we just rocked out for like. Like even now we're still rocking out. Like <laughs> no, facts. we had like this I think it was a spring break. Okay. Made like bro, we made so many fucking songs, bro. Like just curating the sound. It was crazy, bro. No. Facts. It was just so crazy. We made so many sound like so many songs, like those days it was just crazy as fuck. Can you tell people the importance of like having somebody like a producer that you can lock in with and you can like curate that sound with? Cause that's oh, huge, you know? Having a, a right hand man, like producer, 
you can create any sound you hear in your head with oh them God. because they know your vibe. And at that point, like, nigga knows exactly what you want to hear. Like, when you work with someone for, like, we've been working for, like, two years, probably three at yes. that. So w- when you know someone for that long, you know what they want to hear. Right, so he, he knows what I want to hear every time. So it's just, like, a banger every time. And, and then the workflow is just, work, like, it's just... Our, worth, our work ethic is, like, one of the main things that really, like, like bro, like we have like, so bro, we probably have like a hundred songs together. Oh, that's like, insane. Probably like I swear like uh, like eighty to like a hundred songs together. I feel like that's dope. Like we really went crazy. So when yeah. Chanel Bag got the success that it have, were you guys like just hype because it bro, was like you and the boy? We're like, hyped to this day, bro. To like this literally, day, like yeah. yesterday it hit fifty mil, and I'm like, we like, yo, let's like, go, let's go. like we're lit. That's fifty mil just on Spotify. It's just though. on Spotify. But we're talking like eight, almost a hundred mil, probably on all platforms. Yeah, right? like it's like it has like almost like seventy five mil, or, or like it has more than seventy five mil on all platforms. It's insane. Hell yeah. That's insane. Tell me about the creation process of Chanel Bag. Like where it was you- one of those normal ass days where we was just locked it was me and G he was on a discord through the through the internet it was just locked in it was just one of those days it was like making mm-hmm. like eight six songs D- did you day. did you know you had like something I, on your I hands didn't. so the beat was called Chanel okay I think it was like called Chanel or some shit or like bag or some shit and I okay. was like I was just like shit I started freestyling this shit I was like, oh shit, this shit Loki sound hard. And your boy named the your boy named the Chanel. Beat Chanel? Yeah. Producers, they don't know how much those those names when they name the beats, how much that inspires yeah. us artists. Because no, you just facts. like think of something off top and it like you just be going oh off that. God. Like the beat name sometimes inspire like that. Shit songs. Literally, that shit literally made the song. The whole song. That's like crazy. The, the name of the beat literally made the whole song for real. So you didn't even know it was gonna like be that crazy. You're just like, oh, it's another one in the cut, and you just dropped it, and next thing you know, like it things, just started building the fuck up the, hit the algorithm music. things just started just yeah, rolling yeah. heck yeah. yeah what kind of doors has that opened up for you just that song itself it opened up a lot of doors bro like i'm out here now right now fast uh i got locked in with a bunch of people and or and like creatives that i've never thought like i've never seen myself working with 100 like, percent. and like some people that i, I grew up watching like even becoming like some of my best friends for real. That shit insane. Yeah. Who's some of the craziest people that have reached out to you that you were like, oh my gosh, this is happening right Honestly, now? Honestly, bro, literally the first person that ever like was like famous or whatever mm-hmm. that reached out to me was like Supreme Patty. Okay. And he was like, yo, your shit hard. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, a, I was still like a kid though. So yeah, I, was yeah. like, I was like, oh shit, my like boy someone, really, I was like, damn. Him. And yeah. he, I'm pretty sure in one of his like uh, vlogs, one of his videos or some shit, like you could hear like the hi-hats or like the, the like the, like me in the background rapping. I was oh, like, no oh, way. Shit. I was like, damn, I was hyped as fuck. That's fire. So I was lit. Uh, clever. Okay. That's like, that's bro. Like he, he really, I fuck with dude. He's really, really, really humble. Like he tapped I, in. I, I can text him like anything, like and he'll like I can ask him like questions about life and bro. Like same same with uh mm-hmm. Einer Banks. Like I, like these 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 dudes are like I can really ask anything and like they'll really give me like their advice and like whatever can help. No, type absolutely. Shit. That's important, you know. It's like especially out in the industry, there's a lot of people that just trying to just they're just for yeah, money, make the just bag, make the bag. But it's just someone that's just like. Provides value just out of just the love, just because I like, see some stuff that's big. Bro, it's like bros, like a real, bro, a real brother, real shit. No, something to learn off of. That's dope. Us. That's dope. Who's some Who's some other people you want to work with that you want to speak into existence right now? <laughs> it's Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with that. Lil Wayne. Okay. Um, Ian Dior. Five. That would go crazy. Lil Skies, because niggas are always comparing me to these dudes. Okay. Like I feel like I gotta get a song in with these guys, so. Um. Yeah, that's bro. hard. Yeah, I like to ask this question. So, if you would blend a smoothie of rappers together to make Killbunk, who would have? Who would be in that smoothie? Juice World, X, uh, Trippy Red, Post Malone. Uh, <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's a, a lot. I feel like right it's there. a lot of. It's hey, a, you can have a lot in your smoothie. It it's so many be. like flavors to no, it. For real. It's facts. like it's a lot of of generations really. Yeah, yeah. To create like who I am. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Can you name some like underground artists that you're like 
rock with right by, now or like, just like just they want to shout out or you're watching i bet boom brandon the kid okay salty let's you already go. know i was gonna say that that's game go. uh shit uh I want to shout out my boy uh, Harry, Sex Who Go on Instagram. Uh, my boy Jeter. Uh, shit, I ain't trying to miss no one, bro. Niggas no. gonna be like, shit. No facts, that shit's the worst too. Sheesh. When you do the shout outs and then oh, you God. miss something. Much, uh, bro, all of my niggas, bro. Let's go. Godwin, that nigga, bro. I don't want, yo. All right, shit, who else? That, all right, yeah, that's, that's really that's the, the wire. Right there? Nah. <laughs> Keep going, bro. Let's go. I'm gonna just stop here. Anyone, you know what I'm saying? Anyone else? If you didn't get mentioned, nigga, just don't don't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to fill up this whole interview with name dropping. You Facts. Know what I'm and probably you probably could. <laughs> I really could. <laughs> like that's how I am. For real. Facts. No, I love that. Um, tell me about pop pop out featuring Yeet. That shit. Bro, he sent me that open, and I was like, sheesh. That's insane. I was like, sheesh, this shit is hard. I was like, damn, I got to hop on this shit right now, so I did hop on it. I feel like he put you in, like, a different space. Would you say that was, like, a hard record for you to jump on, or that was Not, easy for it you? It was, like, honestly, it was, like, on my own. Okay. It would, I feel like if I hopped on a beat like that, I would be like, yo, what the fuck? But since he was, like, he, he was already on it, I could, like... Slide off of it type shit. Hundred percent. He gave you a little bit of like motivation, yeah, momentum. motivation, inspiration, all that. No, hundred percent. For real. That's nice to be able to like flow off of something like that. You know, uh, get yeah. a little motivation. If you had an unlimited budget um, to spend on your music career, what would be the first thing you'd throw some bands on? I would like unlimited budget as in like marketing wise or like yeah, anything. just like anything. Like someone was like, "Yo, we want to, we I want to give you money, well, but it's just to push your music career forward." You I would can use want it anyway. To make the craziest video nigga. like okay every location is in a different country that'd be crazy some crazy shit like some crazy ass mansions like some of the world's like most popular buildings and shit probably like i'm trying to stand on top of the fucking new york fucking statue the statue of liberty, liberty. yeah the statue of liberty. no cat i'm gonna Kill stand on, on top, top of that bitch the torch that'd be hard just rapping my shit that would be hard. That would be legendary. Yeah, hang out a plane. All that shit. Just like crazy Explosion. Visuals. Michael Big. I just like all some, that shit. Like some straight movie shit. <laughs> I swear to God. That would be crazy, that'd bro. That would be crazy. So videos. Anything else would be like videos would be the thing that you'd want to just um, go crazy on? I don't want to go crazy on like... I want to really go into a studio and have like a whole choir in that bitch. Or like an orchestra. Yes. Or like some like real, real, real like... Crazy, like I want to make some real, real music, like oh, some real, real music. Like what Logic be doing? Have you seen what Logic be doing? Be bringing in the orchestras and stuff. Yeah, and bro. Yeah. Logic, Snoop, like oh, a Snoop, lot of yeah. bro. Tyler, the creator, or even Michael Jackson with "We Are the World." You know, we brought all. Yeah, the music. that shit was crazy. My no, mom, that my mom showed me that song. That song is so crazy. Actually, speaking about that, I wanted to tap into one of your tweets to kind of dive into it. You said on ten twenty seven twenty one. I want to make a song with 10 people and all of us have like 30 seconds on it. Who would be some of those artists that you would want on that song? Uh, shit. You don't have to name all 10, but... I would want, bro, if we're... I would want, like, I want Scory on that bitch. Okay. First of all. Okay. I would want uh, T.O.B. Duke on it. Okay. I would want my boy Brandon the Kid on it. Okay. Godwin on it. Okay. Uh... Even Salty on it. Okay. okay. <laughs> clappers. Let's clappers will go crazy. Clappers on that bitch. Uh and I'ma just I'ma just think for the other for the, the other, other five. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. has to come. It has to come. Yeah, was, exactly. You need to hear the beat almost. Oh god, oh god. I might for fuck real. around and actually do that for real. Get that get that shit. You should. Play. That'd be fire. You heard it here first on Blue House TV. If shit. it happens, let's that go. Shit happen. That shit crazy. So another tweet I wanted to dive into. You did this one like three days ago. You said, if I'm being honest, I wish I could disappear to an island and no one knew where I was. What, what were you going through right there? What were you feeling like? It was just, I just be stressed a lot. I just, nice. I just be like really stressed a lot about music and shit. Okay. I don't really, you know what I'm saying? No, absolutely. Niggas just be stressed about everything. Everything be stressing me out. So I just be like, sometimes I wish I could really just like go to a place where like no one was like no one could stretch me out and I could just chill hmm. by myself you know what I'm saying Absolutely. paradise look, look into the sky palm Absolutely. trees around me you know what Absolutely. I'm saying what do you think is the most stressful thing right now is being an artist trying to hold up to like an image okay through. okay hell yeah trying to hold up to like 
this like like let's say like trying to trying to hold up to Chanel back. Like let's say mm. like people people want people want more music like that. Okay. But like what if I don't want to make more music like that? That's what if facts. I want to like you know what I'm saying? That's it's facts. just like that thought of like my fans being like, oh we want this instead of what I actually want to put out mm. is just sometimes be like fuck like so, damn. So sometimes people don't realize it's like. You could run up a song and it could go absolutely crazy, but then there's a, there's some pressure that comes behind there's that. There's a lot it's of a pressure. lot of pressure you sit on, probably so even much. like your creation process. You probably it, yeah, it'd it be fucking it'd be fucking up and get writers blocked just from thinking about like just from like being like damn bro like damn like I really gotta like make something like 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 let's say like I'll have like <clears throat> days where like I won't make a like a song that I feel like is like a a hit or some shit, mm-hmm. and I'll just like beat myself up about it like the mm-hmm. whole day, and like that mm-hmm. shit like will create writer's block and shit. No, hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, I can see how where that comes from for sure. You know, especially yeah. having something like that. Like you're just in there like, oh, I gotta top this. I gotta yeah. top this. And I like, just have to keep every record yeah. has to be better. Yeah. And at that point, it's like, that's where I could see you. It's like, hey, I want to dip off and just not have to worry about this. Just, like, let the music just, like, create, you know? Just yeah. create from, like, a pure standpoint, you know? Not from, like, oh, I need to top it type standpoint. Yeah. Facts, bro. If, if, nobody's heard, if nobody's heard your music before, what three songs would you tell them to go check out? I'll tell them to check out my song called Run. Okay. On SoundCloud. Okay. Cause that's some crazy shit. Niggas do not listen to that song for real. Okay. It's some some crazy underrated. No better. Okay. Um. And this old song called Perfect. Okay. That's just hard. That'll be the three. Yeah, I like that. Three. I like that. So I do this section where I do overrated, underrated. So I'm just gonna go through and just name out some few things, and you just say if they're overrated or underrated, or you can say perfectly rated if you want to. Also. All right. Okay. All right so Sofago. I feel like he's like, I don't think he's really, you know, I don't really feel like he's overrated at this point. I feel okay. like I feel like he's like perfectly rated. I don't feel like no one's really overrated. Okay, too perfect. Much. What about In and Out? It's just like you've had it before. I think, but I, I don't really remember it like that, so I can't say. I can't really. I can't. That even, means it's overrated. That shit overrated. <laughs> yeah, then, if you can't remember. I it. can't remember that <laughs> shit, but that shit overrated, overrated bro. Sure. All right, how about Chanel bags? Overrated. Oh, like, really? all, wait, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> hey, nah. Now you can leave it there, you can leave it there. Yeah. Nah. Oh, overrated though? Overrated. overrated. I feel like, I feel like, I, I, don't really, I don't really like Chanel bags like that. I like Louis bags and shit like okay. that. As yeah. much as I have a song called Chanel, as corny <laughs> and as ironic as that is, it's like, I, I do fuck with some Chanel bags, but okay. it's like, it's like, I don't really, really want to like cop, cop a Chanel bag for no reason. No facts. no facts, facts. I love it. How about recording in big studios? I don't, bro. That's overrated as fuck. Facts. I'm not gonna hold you. That shit. Every when I every time I ask that one, everyone's like overrated, over. Especially the youth because everyone's be recording. Hell yeah. Like, I don't need to go in no studio. I oh, got God. FL in my house. I'll be engineering myself. Fuck, fuck yeah, a lot of them be making fi- more fire songs and they're recording off their damn Xbox headphones oh, and shit like God. that. And it's like. Making yeah, so that's your crazy. We're recording off this mic right here. Yeah, I'm recording snapping. off this mic. I'm <laughs> snapping. You know, fifty million. <laughs> oh God, for real, bro. All right, what about run and gun music videos? I feel like they're perfectly rated. Perfectly rated. Yeah, Heck yeah. They be hard. They be running hard. guns be hard. Some running gun videos be some of the hardest videos, for real. Do you see that new Lil Yachty SSG Kobe one? With yeah, shot I did. By like JMP, I believe, yeah, or something. That they're like hard. in New York. That yeah. shit was crazy. Just like super running the gun, shot super quick. But I, I, yeah. I like that shit. What about uh, record labels? I feel like it depends on where you are in your career. Okay. But for me, overrated. Okay. I'll hold you. I, but I, indie labels, I feel like are perfectly rated. Absolutely. Because they really, you know what I'm saying? They're Power really to the artist head ass. You know what I'm saying? Facts, bro. No, I like that. I like when you said that. You're like, it depends on the point of time you are in your career. I yeah. agree 100% with that. Um, what about Drake? Um, I feel like he's overrated low key. Okay, okay. And then designer clothes. Designer clothes are like overrated too. Overrated? But like, it's still swag. Fast. It'd be far. It'd it's be like, fast. it's just something to buy and like make yourself feel good about. Any designer clothes you've been like buying lately or dripping out with a little bit? Uh, not really. I'd be like, I'd be, uh, nah, I don't really care about designer. Not been going too crazy with nah, you? I just bought this shit. Okay, a little a little drip. A little drip. Let's go. Yeah. That shit shining. Dancing. Yeah, a bit dancing like a motherfucker. That shit fire. Yeah, I fuck yeah. with that. 
All right, any new stuff you're working on you'd like to tell us about or shout out? Um, shit, the, the video I shot yesterday okay. in Vision, that shit is going to be one of my craziest videos for sure. Let's go. Um, the No Better video is going to be crazy. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I want to shout that out for sure. That's all I really want to shout out. That's fire. Two new videos that are going to be snapping. Do you know when they're dropping? Nah, uh, no better. It's gonna drop probably in like a month. Okay, no better first though, because that's yeah. when you just drop facts. That's two. Let's go. And the last question we always like to ask is, what advice would you give to your younger self? I'd be like, don't give up and stay consistent and be try. I'd be like, push yourself harder. Okay. Then I already push myself because I'd be pushing myself hard. Absolutely. But I, I'd rather push myself harder. Because okay. then you know what I'm saying. Absolutely, give it all you got. Stay consistent on the shit. Yeah. You would, you you would have said you almost would have went like harder on some stuff. Oh yeah, damn. I would have, I would have told myself definitely go harder, like yeah. way harder. Like make more music type of thing. Make way more music. Don't Thanks. don't let that little that little. Oh, I got ten songs yesterday. Hmm. Make ten songs that day too. Facts. You know what I'm saying. I like that. I like that. Well, there you guys have it. Another episode under the wraps with the one and only Killbunk. You guys are watching Blue House TV. I'll see you next week. Okay, I get money every day. Had a gas on niggas, all they fake.